No party table is complete without something sweet to round things off. And my eclair roll is so delicious, you may have to make two because they will be coming back for more. Let's face it, the best bit of any party is when the desserts arrive. And this one has the wow factor. I start by whizzing up another batch of shoe pastry. Who said that I have to pipe shoe pastry? If you're not big on piping, this is perfect for you. And this is the exact same pastry that I used for my shoe buns. And that is how versatile shoe pastry can be. Level off the mixture and bake at 180 degrees for about 30 minutes. Then start the ganache by gently heating 100 ml of double cream and don't let it boil. So keep an eye on that and try not to get distracted by chocolate, which is not easy, let me tell you. So I've got 200 grams of dark chocolate. I love making dark chocolate ganache because when you've got a dessert that's sweet, adding dark chocolate just balances it out because it's a little bit bitter, slightly salty, it's perfect. Pour the hot cream over the chocolate. With ganache, if you get it too hot and you boil it and then you put it straight into your chocolate, that will, that will make it split. The temptation is to just constantly stir it, but what's happening is you're taking the heat out of the cream. So just leave it, just let it melt slowly, just give it a couple of minutes and then get in there with a the spoon. So that's my ganache done and so is my shoe pastry. Look at that. Can you hear that? That is light and crispy and full of air. Tip out the pastry and while it's still hot, use a tea towel to shape it. If I roll it without the tea towel in it, with the heat, it's going to stick together. And then I'm just going to leave it here and just let it cool completely in the tea towel. So what's an eclair roll without some filling? That's the best bit, right? What it needs is a oozy, creamy, yummy filling. Whip together cream, icing sugar and vanilla paste. And spread the mixture out over the shoe pastry. And this is going to be really indulgent. This is a party. It's not about watching what we eat. So I've got salted caramel. And you can buy these jars of goodness at the supermarket. You don't even have to make it yourself. Spread four tablespoons of the salted caramel over the cream. If I have a party, it's an excuse to kind of eat and talk around and with the food. And that's so important. Everything that I make has to be something that they remember. And I think this is one of those things. Now roll the pastry back up. Look at that. Whatever you do though, don't roll the tea towel in with, it, with the roll this time. <laughs> tea towel doesn't taste very good. Not even for a party. Pick it up, pick it up. And just, like, make sure you've got it on its seam. So it doesn't go flinging open. There you go, look at that. And just to top this off, I've got my ganache. Spoon the topping all over the roll and spread with a palette knife. Do you ever make anything ever and, like, regret that other people have to eat it as well? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that at the moment. And for the final touches, sprinkle some chopped milk chocolate over the top. That looks spectacular and I know it tastes delicious. That's going to go fast, but they better save me some. Eclair roll, lots of chocolate and plenty of cream. Now that's what I call a party.